Hello everyone, today we'll start with tenses. As you all know, tense is a form of verb which defines whether an action is completed, is running in the present or will happen in the future. So in all uh, tenses define uh, the task the completion of a task, the state of a task or the state in which the task is going on. So we will start tenses through error spotting. If I write, you must be knowing that there are three kinds of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense and each of the three, uh, like each of the three ten, uh, tenses have four forms. So total we have 12 forms of tenses and three tenses. Now first question is, he retired to bed before we reached there. He retired to bed before we reached there. So there is an error in the sentence and the error is of tense only. Now as we can see, retired is second form of verb. Again reached is second form of verb. Now what happens is as per past perfect form of past tense if there are two activities in a single sentence and one activity gets completed first and second activity gets completed later on. So the activity which gets completed first takes past perfect form that is he had retired. The past perfect form says had plus v3. So he had retired to bed because this particular task was performed first. He retired to bed first and then after that we reached there or the time period we reached there was the time when he was already retired. So he had retired to bed before we reached there. So in all when there are two activities in a single sentence and one activity is getting completed first and the second activity is getting completed later on. So the activity which will get completed first will take past perfect form and the activity which gets completed later on will take simple past form. So in all the combination will be of simple past and past perfect. Now second question. I'm having a car. I'm having a car. Whenever you are the owner of something, words like own, taste, smell, hear, know, see, look, are not followed by ing, are not followed by ing till the time there is no preposition in this and not followed by ing till the time we don't have a preposition or something other followed by this. Now I am having a car that means I am the owner of the car so I cannot write it like this I have to better write it I have a car. So words like own, taste, smell, hear, no, see, look are not followed by ing if they are not used with a preposition or something else. Here we have a car, I am having a car, having is followed by an article not a preposition. So you cannot say I am having a car. This directly means I am owning a car. So it's better to write I have a car or I own a car rather than I am having a car. Third question. He left for America next week. Now next week itself denotes some future activity so you cannot use V second. V second is simple past. So to denote a future activity you cannot use simple past. Here you have to write he will leave for America next week or this sentence can also be written as he will be leaving for America next week. So in all to denote future activity you can never use simple past or you can never use the format of simple past. Next question. 
you won't you won't pass unless you will not work hard unless you will not work hard yes so as you can see in this sentence there are two will first will is will not the second will is again will not so first of all you cannot send, use two will in a single sentence until or unless there is some request some polite request or some favor you are asking for so this is just a normal sentence so will cannot follow will so you have to edit one will plus at the same time if you are using unless or until then after that simple present structure will be followed and negative thing will not be included like this second phrase will be written as unless you emit, uh, uh, editing will you work hard so the sentence will be like this you won't pass unless you work hard I repeat whenever in a sentence if you have unless after that unless you cannot use negative form at the same time you have to use simple present structure that is v1 so here we have work at v1 structure simple present and there is no not followed by unless so sentence will be like this you won't pass unless you work hard next question she is reading since morning she is reading since morning so whenever we have a sentence with since or for we will take perfect continuous structure now that perfect continuous can be of past can be of present can be of future and in perfect continuous structure we have has have or had plus been plus v i n g this is for this has have had denotes perfect this v i n g denotes continuity so this sentence will be written as she has been reading since morning this has been is added because of this since so again in a sentence having since or for in it the structure will be has have had plus been plus v i n g that is perfect continuous structure now this perfect continuous can be of present can be of past and can be of future too next question don't get down the bus until it will not stop now first thing whenever you have until or unless as I have said earlier in the fourth sentence whenever you have until or unless in a sentence you cannot use not at the same time uh, you have to use the phrase in which there is until or unless in simple present form so we start from here copying the until as it is until it now will not stop will be in present simple form so until it stops we have omitted the not in this so the question will be answer will be like this don't get down the bus until it stops now after until there is no not at the same time after until v plus s that is simple present format next question I'm going to the office every day by bus I'm going to the office every day by bus now whenever in a sentence you have words like every day regularly generally normally generally regularly normally frequently every day this denotes some habit on regular basis and the structure used will be of simple present so in all some habitual action in the present in the present will be denoted by using simple present 
that is subject plus p1 or verb plus s or es so if you are going to like if you say i'm going to the office every day by bus so you are repeating this on regular basis this is some habitual action in the present so the answer will be i go to the office every day by bus i go to the office every day by bus next question i came to know that his father has died i came to know that his father has died 3 days ago now um as it is denoting past thing 3 days ago so this activity this action was performed in the past and some action which is performed in the past you cannot use present for that like has is for just completed task has is used for present perfect is a helping verb of present perfect form and it it is used to denote something which is just completed in the present but his father already died 3 days ago so the correct answer will be you have to use past form for this so i came to know that his father died 3 days ago something which is already performed in the past some action which is already performed in the past we'll take helping verb of past forms only one of the past forms his next question the secret of his good health lies in the fact that he is getting up early and goes to bed early the secret of his good health lies in the fact that he is getting up early and goes to bed early now again in this sentence there is some habitual action habitual action of getting up early and going to bed early so as i've already mentioned above habitual action in present is denoted by simple present tense simple present form of present tense so he is getting up early will be changed into and the sentence will be like this the secret of his good health lies in the fact that now you have to use simple present form he gets up early habitual action in the present he gets up early and goes to bed early i hope this is clear to you all yes next question she came to the party much later than i expect now the thing the action is of past the happening the incident is of past and they have already mentioned it by using second form of verb which denotes simple past form simple past form is for past so if one thing one form of verb is in past my expectation would also be of past only so the correct answer will be she came to the party much later than i expected again i will use second form of verb or she came to the party much later than i expected the thing is of past so everything will be expressed in past only so i hope all this silly mistakes which we generally do in our exams or in our like error spotting exercises is clear to you all thank you